evening. Welcome. Uh, here we are, another Thursday night live. Um, tonight we're going to be doing something a little bit different. But before we go into what we're doing, let's bring in the boys. Uh, so we have Hobo Hill from his caravan of love up there in Scotland. <laughs> Die oh, uh, uh, making a better life. And uh, the wood I die himself, uh, Mr. Wayne the Woodturner. So what are we doing this evening? Good evening, everyone. Tonight, evening. we are going to be making racing cars. Um, this idea I got out of a book by Mark Baker. Um, Wayne um, showed us a website stuck at own books. Um, it's got lots of wood turning books on. Um, I may have spent a few pounds and I've uh, got some books that are giving us some wicked ideas. So what I'm going to do is I've got some wood already on the lathe that's glued up. But before I do that, I'm going to show you the process. Uh, and whilst I'm doing that, the boys can let us know who is in. Nobody. They've all gone home. That's all right. That was okay. easy. <laughs> so um, I'll quickly go through this, Andy. What I'm going to do, and then while I'm doing it, you can say. So what I've got is I've got two bits. Uh, this is sycamore here. Um, two by two, about six inches long. Um, I've already uh, marked the holes for where the axles are going to be for the wheels. Um, and we're going to do a glue joint uh, with a piece of paper. So PVA each side, a piece of paper in the middle, and then we'll clamp it up. So while I'm doing that, okay, let us know who's there. Go on then, Andy. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. You ready for this? Are you hanging on the edge of your seat? Ah. Right. At the top, we have Gerard, the French Turner. We have Dave Oatley, uh, Doris Sixty, uh, Peter Cochran. Uh, da -da 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 -da. All right. No, Nobody else is here, mate. Everyone else has gone home, jolly. Oh, what? 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 No, no, they haven't <laughs> really. I just... Oh. Uh, Robert Dolman. Uh, Come on, stupid computer. No, don't remove. Oh. Epic failure on the uh, my laptop being Shall stupid. Charge up for a second right. if you're No, I'm all oh, good. You're back. There. You're right. back. Yeah. Uh, we have Di Perelt. We have, uh, in fact, I have pretty much got. Oh, Chestnut Products. Oh, oh hi, Terry. Terry. Jarvis. And okay. that's everybody. Oh, uh, no, it's not. Wayne Bigfoot uh, with Valerie. Did Auntie Val get her egg and chips for dinner? That's what I want to know. And Wood Turning by Barry. Okay, so there we go. That's them glued together, a piece of paper in the middle. The paper will become apparent later on. And then what I'm going to do is just clamp them up. Um, and then I will leave these clamped for a good 24 hours before I even attempt. To... Um, the one I attempt, I practiced with earlier Um did come apart whilst turning, so safety is paramount whilst doing these. So you can screw it. I'm joking, sorry. I really must go to Axminster and get some more clamps rather than these silly little 99p jobbies. No. Um, I would also like to point out how well timed was the um, what seemed to be accidental fluff of words and computer <laughs> issues and perfectly timed oh, no. look at that just, so just saying there's that so as i said safety is Garth paramount. just come in hey Garth. so we'll go over to the lathe on the lathe i've got no that's not the lathe that's a scroll saw that oh you? mate you're showing everyone the pictures that you don't like people seeing <laughs> of that special man <laughs> on the on the lathe I've got a piece of cherry Barry's just come in oh yeah Barry that I've done exactly the same with um, a piece of paper you don't have to use A4 paper um, you can use newspaper 
I've just used A4 because I've got a printer in the workshop. Newspaper works laptop. very well, by the way. Yep. Hi, a shug. And Shug's just come in. And Shug's in. So I'm just cleaning my face visor because I am going to wear a visor tonight. <laughs> because I've already been... damaged his pretty face. I've already been hitting the face once today. I don't want to do it again. Yeah, but the missus has said she deserved it, mate. Missus laughed. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound too bad, does it, boys? No, that's about right. Cool. Nope. All right. So, most important thing when you're doing something like this, before you even start the lathe, make sure that it's clear of the tool rest. I'm still a bit far away. And all we're going to do to start off with is we're going to use a rough and gouge, and we're just going to knock the edges off. Terry Hooper's come in and Woodworm Paul as well. Hiya, Terry. So that's going... That's five. That's about 600. Nice sharp chisels. The only Viking, to say. Now, there's lots of different designs you can do with this, and um, lots of ways how you turn it i've got two different size wheels um so they're going to be more of like a dragster didn't want to do that no i'm having issues with this tall rest i'm all good thank you young barry working lots hence my Apparent disappearance from the forefront of your memory. But you are live on Saturday, Andy. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh hey, look at that. That was a that was almost a nice well, segue well done then, yeah. Um, I've got the list up here if you want me to fly through. Yes, do it, Di, please. So I guess it everyone knows what we're talking about. Uh, we're no. talking about the virtual craft day on yeah. on Saturday. So that starts at 10 a.m. with the man himself, Mr. JB Page, opening up for an hour. We've then got Scott Grant over here at 11 a.m. At 12 p.m., we've got Clive over at Sneaks Wall Art. Mm. 1 p.m., we've got Kez, Spirit and Bear. She was fantastic last time she was on. At 2 p.m., a firm favourite, Al has hike shack. Yay. 3 p.m., we've got Brian at Hartwood Turning. Yay. 4 p.m., if he's well. If he's well. Yeah. 4 p.m., we've got Steve Kerbel, SK Crafts. Um, 5 p.m., we're all in for a treat. We've got Bobby and Nicole Duke. Hey. And then at 6 p.m., following on, we've got Andy. I don't hey. envy you following that, mate, but you know. <laughs> oh, uh, no, I'm not being funny. I know, you're, you're mates it's with warm up act, isn't he? Yeah, let's face it. <laughs> then at 7 pm, we've got the Urban Forge, which I really enjoyed last time. That was really fantastic. I'm glad he's on again. Then the man himself, the Wood Jedi, Mr. Wayne Clasper at 8 o'clock. At 9 pm, we've got a new one to the crafty. We've got Stace Makes. Looking forward yeah. to that. 10 pm, we've got Franco and Friends. That if you've watched before, you know that could be anything. Probably some fool were involved. 11 pm, we've got Dreadnought wood, wood Shop. Hey, Daryl. I've not, I've not met Daryl before. But 12 am, mm, we've got Jake Thompson for some uh, fun with resin. And then closing the show is the lovely Mr. Carl Jacobson at 1 am. Who's he then? Carl. <laughs> He's Mr. Carl Jacobson. The one, the only. Can I say what, so it, what when, when you said earlier on there, it's 
when you said earlier on it's Bobby and Nicole Duke, actually it's Nicole and Bobby Duke because it's Nicole that's going to be it doing this stuff. Nicole. Nicole. Oh, she's, yeah. she's yeah. the lady. Bobby, yeah, Hodge Pudge has just Tom come in. Oh, yeah, Hodge. And oh, Wivy yeah, Woodshed in as well. Hi, Andrew. Hello. So what I'm doing now is I'm just making the shape of the car. So we're going to have the cab at the back. And then this is going to be a sloping bonnet. I'm just using the rough and gouge just to get rid of the bulk of the timber. Now you will see that I stop the lathe quite regularly just to see where we are and where we're at and what we're doing. The first one I did, um, I made a massive mistake when I went too far. Um, and then... <clears throat> Yeah, the wheels were halfway up the bonnet. So as you can see there, we haven't got much space. So I need to start thinking about my shaping and being careful. I'm going to switch between a spindle gouge and a bowl gouge. Now, as Wayne said the other day in his live, it's perfectly acceptable to use a bowl gouge for spindle turning. But you need to be, well, I wouldn't even do it using a spindle gouge on bowls. Even fine cuts, you're taking a risk. Right, I've just had a message from Scott, from uh, Shug, saying that, yep. you, that you, your live is down. But I've just been over to YouTube to check and it's still going. I think that's you, Shug, I'm watching it. it yeah, looks... refresh, there's been a lot of problems with... Uh... <clears throat> YouTube. Uh, he's, um, just he's, he's just messaged. He's just messaged. Yeah, he's messaged again, saying everything's okay. You tried switching it off and on again, Shug. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. Okay. All right. So let's start shaping the front of the car. Now I'm just doing nice, gentle cuts. Don't remember in this um, sorry yep go on andy uh, are you turning the wheels as well i'm not turning the wheels tonight i am cheating um well, Peter. yeah you can buy the wheels cheap enough on ebay um i have painted them what color uh black as it happens don't like it you mean Don't you didn't feel one. like getting the rainbow waxes out? Yeah, right, man. Yeah. Could have had green Ooh. tires. No. have had yellow you, you tires. Should, you, should, you, should, you should have had black with white walls. Mm. True, true, true. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what Probably the rainbow waxes wish. would take like on the cherry, but we could try. Wendy's just come in. Oh, yeah, Wendy. Hiya, Wendy. And Doug. Or has Doug and been Doug in for as a well. while? No, no, Hello. no, he's just come in. Hey, Doug. Hello, Doug. Hi, Doug. Right, Terry's having to go. He's got to finish his newsletter. Oh, bless you, Terry. Mm. Take care, Terry. Terry, before you shoot off, mate, I found your email the other day um, for the elephant. I will send reply to it. I haven't forgotten. I just missed the email. The elephant. Yeah, he wanted the uh, sizes of the timber of the elephants that I did in. I think it was one of the virtually crafties. Okay. Looks like a pub plug. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I was waiting for that comment. So what I've done here is I've left a little bit. We can cut this off in the bandsaw, but when it comes to splitting the wood, there's somewhere we can use a chisel just to get in, and I'll do the same at this end. I'm just going to give that a quick sand. Right, Terry from Chestnut is querying the elephant. Ah, so I turned an elephant. <laughs> that would query it, all right. <laughs> <laughs> when was that? That was. It's on the channel somewhere, Terry. 
Um, I think it was one of the virtually crafties. Um, yeah, uh, Terry's a member of the club, and he wanted. No, that was the wrong, the wrong Terry that was leaving. It was Terry from Chestnut ah. that was leaving. Uh, I thought it was Terry Hooper. No, it was Terry from Chestnut that was leaving to finish off the newsletter. Ah, sorry, Terry. Yeah, Terry Hooper's email I found. And what I've got is this is... um, I've had this ages. This is a long roll of um, abrasive fin, normally for pen making. But it means I can get safely the sand in this okay how's that looking cool right what I'm going to do now you don't have to do this but after one went bang earlier on I'm just going to put some tape round just to help hold it together. <laughs> That's not going to work. Yeah, we will. It'll be fine. It'll be oh, fine. No. More concerned about your rotation there. No, yeah, well, he's not going to be hitting the tape, though. True. No. The tape is literally there just to hold it together. So, again... I was referring to the rip. Anyway. Uh, um, just checking where we're at. Uh, Still looks like a butt plug. <laughs> with hanging <laughs> strings. Right. How's that work, then? Yeah, put it in the shower, don't you? I oh, guess. is that not for, like... After it's been, uh, you don't use it during. On a string. Oh, that's soap on a rope. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't get it. No. Anyway. Yeah. So we're just going to put another little tenon on this end. Stop it, Shug. For shot, yes, though. Doug, it is Andy. <laughs> you spelt my name wrong, no. <clears throat> uh, Shug's just... He's just poking fun at something I said. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> okay, there we go. So there's a tenon for that end. I'm just going to slope the cab off a little bit more. We don't deal with those things anyway. Bing it. Oh, Jennifer. Jennifer's just come in. Oh, yeah, Jennifer. Jennifer. We want this to be a fast racing car, so we're going to uh, we're going to put a spoiler on it. Ooh. That makes it fast, does it? Yeah. And then we're going to put Go Faster stripes on. Oh, that's what you're... Yeah, okay. Yeah, didn't work on my granddad's Reliant. With what it looks like at the minute, it'd be a right spoiler if you got a catch. <laughs> <laughs> it is just gentle, gentle cuts. Just so you're in the loop, Scott, it's uh, you're 20 past the hour. Uh, well, 20 past your hour. That makes sense. You're 20 minutes in. Cool, That's mate. That's way of saying it, isn't it? There you go. Mm. Yeah. Get there in the end. 31 people watching. Don't forget the Thank thumbs you. up, guys. Oh, 30. Oh, 29. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And pinned at the top of the chat, Scott's buy me a coffee. And he uses that to support what he does. He has to keep you entertained. 
So the heck he spent it on Jeff yeah, Free to head over there. Well, <laughs> yeah, Wayne well, has buy me a wine. Thing. I might have to buy me a Jaffa <laughs> cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's someone mute me. I'm in love. Compose yourself, Scott. <clears throat> if the racing cars are larder, a spoiler just gives it some bit of push if it breaks down. <laughs> right, let's just see where I am with the wheels. <clears throat> Should be fine. They're usually on the back, one each side. Oh, I'm enjoying this one. Can you make the Batmobile, Scott? There you go. There's a the challenge. Stretch it out a bit. Turn a curve in the front. <coughs> yeah, it's a project another project, I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't thinking right this very second. No, he's got it all taped up at the end. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like it's got a rocket pack on the back. Yeah, so um, oh, yeah. it's SpaceX, my mate. <laughs> no, what I've done is I've cut down too far, but it's like a boot spoiler. Yeah, call it air brake. That'd be right. Yeah, it's for drag racing, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's a drag racing car. <laughs> Good save. So, what consider? how would you make this if you were making it for a small child? Would you have any diffi- different considerations in how you decorate or wood choice or anything? So, obviously, you wouldn't use you, wouldn't use laburnum. You go with something that's going to be safe. So what we're going to do with these is one we're going to do as natural wood. Um, so we were going to use uh, chestnuts, food safe oil. And then the other one we're going to decorate. Now what I tend to decorate with is acrylic paints. Kiddies acrylic paints. Because you know they're made for children. Um, and then you can always go for a a food safe lacquer over the uh, lacquer or wax over the top of that. It's a bit. I just want to make that a little bit. Uh, let's go for Skew Skew by McGrew. Right, the other Terry's having to leave as well. Okay, see you later, Terry. Exodus of the Terry's. Yeah. And Richard Phelan's just come in. Hi, Rich. Some... Hi, hey, Richard. I'm just using the point of the skew there on the top. <laughs> Hi Adam, I love wood turning. Hi Adam, Don't cheers for coming in. Oh. Again, if you're doing it for kids, you want to be careful of sharp edges. So on the end here, just just take the corner off. If it comes out all right, one of these is going to be winging its way to uh, Andy for his youngster, Jacob. And then shortly after that, towards my forehead. (laughs) 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 So thank you, Scott. I'll say thanks now. Yeah, round round that corner off a bit more, Scott, will you? (laughs) Or quickly mirror emboss it with, like, best dad in the universe or something. 
So you just want to make sure that you've got all the edges just nice and smooth. Made by Jacob. Bang! <laughs> Have that embossed in my forehead. Yeah. <laughs> no, my, my, my dad is an amnesiac. <laughs> If I do this to my dad, imagine what I would do. Richard, evening, Richard. Oh, you're right, Rich. Rich. Don't forget, Rich has got his uh, invasion uh, after Scotty McScott face has finished. Um, Uh, Murray, uh, Lovian Woodworks. So, I'll just drop you the link in the chat. And once again, a gentle reminder for this weekend, the Virtual Craft Festival, from 10 of your English early morning AMs to 2 AM of your Sunday. Enjoy. Lots of fantastic makers, um, various bobs and bits going on, um, special guests, um, and um, there's a couple of people that are not bad at their craft, like Bobby Dukes is potentially <laughs> going to be there to help his missus out, which is nice. Um, you've got uh, Wayne the Woodturner, and I'm now doing it from memory. So die if you're, you've got the list. I have got the list, mate. I'll just pull that up. So we've mentioned Nicole Duke with Bobby in the background, Wayne the Woodturner. You're there, Andy, it's sandwiched really in, in the between background. the two. Also yeah. got um, the Urban Forger at seven just after you. We've got yeah. Dreadnought Woodshop, Franco and Friends, Stace no. Makes, Jake Thompson, Carl Jacobson, and not to forget earlier on in the day, we've got JP Woodwork opening up, Scott following on, and Sneaks. Sneaks. Sneaks, second, second only live on YouTube. That'll be impressive. Um, and I, Kez, Spirit and Bear, and then uh, a little bit more. Brian at Hardwood turning, Steve Kerval, and I think that's it. Rounded out. Yeah, kind of worked it from the middle out there, didn't we? And then back. We in. did, we did. I was going for the wow to get people's attention, and then completely forgot my way, lost my way. Unfortunate, it was going so well and in my head. <laughs> now, after doing the back, I wasn't happy with that, so I'm just adjusting the front. As I said, the choice of shape is entirely up to you. On it looked far too fat. Mm. I see where you're going. Deep, deep, deep. There's a bit of paper. I'll be held it together again then, Scott. So it's got PVA glue and paper in the middle. You can just about make the glue joint out there. Um, and just while I'm turning it, just for safety, I've put um, masking tape around it. Mm-hmm. So I'm guessing you want kind of just enough PVA to hold yeah. it together. Make sure you've got a good coverage on there. Um, what happens is you'll see in a minute is the paper splits. Mm-hmm. So you can then sand the remainder John, off. Oh, yeah, John. John. You can sand the remainder off on your bench sander. Or if you've got a sanding pad on your lathe.
Just going to address the front coming. of it. Good evening, Brian. Hiya, Brian. Hi, Brian. Brian. The spinnings give me blooming right cramp. Well, what, watching? Oh, you no, no. I'm, it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm spinning away in the background, getting down this alpaca. He's doing that again. Yeah, I need to give Emma a poke. Actually, I don't know where my, she's supposed to be sending me photos of Gary. Gary. I forgot to take photos. She's probably still uh, planning my demise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. How's that looking? A little bit there. You know what? Let's stop being tight. I've been using that bit all day. I'm not from Yorkshire. Hey. <laughs> ah. Okay. So, and there we go. There's the rough shape. I lose my hat. We can now take it off the lathe. <sighs> Leave that there for a minute. Get rid of the elbow stabby thing. Can you still see that all right, boys? Yes, mate. Yeah. Mm. What we're going to do is get a hammer. And a chisel. Now these are my finest woodworking chisels, as you will see. And um, they get used for everything. <laughs> Pulling out nails, you name it, they get used for it. So I'm just going to put a quick sharp edge on that. There we go. And then on the glue joint, you can see the line there. We're just going to give it a gentle tap each side. Now, if it doesn't come apart like this, you can always run it it's through the band tool. Yeah, it should do. Taking the tape off. Help. Do you know what, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> Well it, spot, might well but, um... it might well do. How much did I put on it? Loads. <laughs> One minute it rips, the next minute it don't want to come off. Okay. On the bench on its side, and it was a bit apart. There we go. Oh, no. Two racing cars. So the boys will keep you entertained for a minute. I'm just going over to the bench sander. I haven't got a camera over here. I yeah, must get the guitar re strung so I can entertain better. You got the ukulele there, Andy? Yeah, I have. I could play you the Mandalorian theme tune. You got it nailed, good man. Although I don't know how that would go down with the, uh, the YouTubes. I got the intro bit done, not the outro. Oh, no. no. Or the chorus or the outro. But I got the intro nailed. Good stuff. Mm. I do like a bit of wacky mallet. Scott. He's Is busy. that a rubber man? Yeah. Mm. Different oh. grades of 
plastic. They usually screw out those as well, so you can kind of mix and match as as necessary. You can make a wood one. Do you remember those? Um, Wayne will remember them. Was it Thor brand? And they had copper on one side and rolled up rawhide on the other. Yep, remember them. They're great. Good for beating metalwork back out to shape. Especially the rawhide bit. Most used in uh, my hands for bashing wheel nuts. Knocking uh, <laughs> the brakes have seized usually. What's that? Shug wants us to play Julian Banjos, Andy. We'll have to get that one learned as well when I've got the guitar restrung. Mm. Ding 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 He's still here. Drop that one. <clears throat> so, there we go. The ends have been cut off. We're just going to rub them ends off. And then it's up to you how you decorate them or what you do with them. I've not quite got all the paper off on the bottom because um, I do need to put a new belt on my... Uh, Bench grinder, uh, bench sander, but I'll have to wait till funds are available. So what I'll do after the live is I'll just put my um, other one on there. So if we come back to the bench, doop -doop -doop. <coughs> move that one out of the way. And we've got two cars. A bit phallic looking, but hey ho. <laughs> so, one we're just going to oil. There's a racing car. Oh, Pete. Pete's from Twisted Treason. Oh, yeah, Pete. Pete. Pete and Pete. So, this is just. Remember which way around this camera is. Um, chestnuts, food safe. Um, finish. If it's food safe, it's going to be kiddie safe if they stick it in their mouth. It's definitely food safe as well because I've been eating my cereal out of a bowl finished in that for a week. And uh, He's still here! All is good. I didn't wake up dead in the morning, which is what you're going to look out for. And did you say you wanted to see what the rainbow Keith Jarvis was? Keith Jarvis is having a go. See you later, Keith. Cheers for popping in, mate. I think that would be interesting, Scott. I just, I don't know. It kind of screams metallic bodywork, picking up the curves. It'll have to be red or pink because that's what I've got, but we can give it a go. You're not going to two turn it then to go with the white wall tyres? <laughs> <laughs> They ain't got white wall tyres. Well, that's easily fixed, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So we'll let that soak him. Ten past the hour, mate. You're doing all right. Lovely. Um, bim, 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 bim. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop some veils on. And as I said, these were bought from eBay. Um, they do lots of different sizes, lots of different styles. You can get wagon wheels. Um, they do double of these, um, so you can use them for trucks. Or buses. Or buses. Someone's Bus trying to ring me, but they can jog on. The bus wheels go round and round, don't they? 
What the wheels on the bus? Yeah, that I was. don't know. Have we got any, got any bus drivers in tonight? And what you want? Is you don't want to tap it in too much because you want a free spin. And what you've got to remember is when you do it the other side, um, is you don't want to go on this bit because otherwise you'll push them right in. So we're going to go big wheels at the back and little wheels at the front. This, this is just a nylon hammer I'm using. We'll spin. We'll go for the little one this time first because they're easy to put in. Do you know what? I might put a little bit of oil on that. Might help it go in the hole a bit easier. That's what she said. Tell you what, it, 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 it looks like he's got a really low body kit, that car. <laughs> ride right, ride right down to the ground. It's going to be one of those cars you ride and you think, oh, am I touching? Cloth. <laughs> <laughs> we got Ben jumping in. Oh, you Ben. <laughs> <Me and> ben. <laughs> Came in at the right point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to read what Gav's put. No. <laughs> don't want to know. Painted it black, it is the Batmobile. Mm. So, one with a natural finish but painted wheels. I'll just put some oil over the caps. I so said, This is just kiddies. Um, Acrylic paint. I think it come from the works. Um, where is it? Uh, it's a metallic black artisty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. That's a low rider. Right, let's clean my hands quickly. Hey, I bet you could utilise Wayne's texturing effect that he did on the vars the other day to get a tyre-like effect. Yeah, you could use all sorts. I said, you can turn the wheels. I'm just being lazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub this over Easy. with a liming brush. <laughs> The rainbow waxes work better with a more open grained wood. Um, where did I put them? We used them last week. Oh, look, they're right in front of me. And what I might do. As we said, those that were in last week or those that weren't, these are the new rainbow waxes um, that Terry at Chestnut started doing. Um, they're not a new principle. You can get, was it called Buffet or something, Wayne? Buffet. Yeah, Buffet. Um, what you can do with these waxes is you can thin them down uh, using either a flow medium or a reducer. Um, and that helps keep the pigment. So this is just a bit of the... This camera's really rough, isn't it? Uh, chestnut reducer. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put a couple of drops in here. So 
So it's, it's not just um, about making it go further. It's about how you want to apply it, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. So here we're going to use it more as a paint and try and get some of that to stick in. We'll go for a funky paint job on it, shall we? Let's go a bit banger racery. Anyone been banger racing lately? Um, not for a lot of years. No. I won't get. I won't get a job with a Formula One team. I noticed you. Uh, wouldn't it be nice? Um, post a video the other day. They'd been at the Welsh leg of the uh, Gumball Rally. Not quite exciting driving around the valleys. Um, uh, uh, just yeah, what's the other color again? Pink, right? Carry on, I think. Um, just stick with the red. I yeah, thought the other maybe. one was purple. No, the other one I've so there's 12 different colors. Um, I've just got the red and the pink at the minute. Um, I'm thinking what you're thinking, Di. Trust me. <laughs> I, I, I'm just thinking maybe, yeah, be careful. Yeah, I'm thinking what you're thinking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> now I'm thinking what you're thinking. <laughs> He's a bit phallic looking, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, and the other thing with the reducer, the black. <laughs> you know what? We need a blooming after hours, blooming turning <laughs> oh. show, don't we? We just yeah. all all the, all the things you can. The other yeah, thing you can do with the work reducer because the internet is at all, all times, so you're always going to be. It worked for the Carry On team for many a years. They turn um, the if you were to put use an open grain wood and if you were to put like black um, embellishing uh, ebonizing lacquer on it yeah, then you can use the reducer to clean that out So you can no, I'm not an artist. So you will have to bear with me. Don't worry, Andy. Jacob's going to get the wooden one. I wouldn't want to offend your miss, good lady. Yeah. Appreciate that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure, I'm mate. I really wouldn't right. want that one thrown in my face. <laughs> <laughs> How's your mate sending our boy toys at that? Or oh, worse still. <laughs> no, I'm going to stop. Yeah, I can just stop there. Do you know what? These these lives are all about having a laugh. So if we yeah, but it's very laugh, wise. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, the spinning wood dodgers just come in. Hi, Chris. Hey, Chris. What I have done, I'm hoping it's dry, is the one that I turned earlier, I've used spray paint and acrylic paint on. Um, so we'll try and get that so you can see several different finishes on it. Oh, I've still got some blackout. Just tidy that edge up. Uh, um, <laughs> Boys, I'm trying to paint a straight line here. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, 
I'm so glad I didn't save this for the crafty like I was going to. Uh, Jeff Christie said he couldn't find the rainbow waxes on the website. Should you have got them at the weekend? Yes. They're still not on the website. I have emailed Terry and said, Oi! Um, they are going to be coming on there. I know they were super popular at the weekend. And Emma got them in stock. Let me just I check. Don't know. So we don't have to use a rainbow wax. We could use a different colour and we could go for one of the... Um, <clears throat> one of the Hampshire Sheen embellishing waxes. What have we got? What have we got? Purple, black, gold. Let's just go with a pink. Let's just go with a pink. <laughs> <laughs> the channel is set not for children and um, if other people see different things and they've got dating minds not me <laughs> honest I was sweet and innocent till I become a maker so this is the pink um, I'm not going to thin this one down no Emma's not got them up yet no the other good thing with these waxes is, is if you don't get quite a brilliant finish. Mr. Kirkwood's um, in the chat. Mr. Kirkwood, good evening. Then what you can do is use hey, them as a filler. Oh, mate. Twenty-five past eight. School. Cool. And be Mark Strawton's in as well. Oh yeah, Mark. Hey, Mark. Cheers for the name. You can't really see that pink underneath. Yeah. Yeah, final roof. Yeah, look. Just a pink Cadillac. Pink. <laughs> so, we'll leave that one there. And I will show you the one I did earlier. Because um, we can get that one put together. That one's still wet and we're not going to be able to put wheels on it. So, and earlier Hodge, on... Hodge is asking, have you, ever, have you ever thought of making these battery operated, Scott? No, Hodge, these are the first ones I've done. Um, oh, here's yes. one I did earlier. So that's uh, sprayed fluorescent yellow um, with blue uh, acrylic kiddies paints, windows and bits and pieces. Um, I will get around to painting some windows on the side. But as I said, the choice of what you do, whether you stain them, whether you oil them, whether you paint them, what shapes is up to you. There are other videos on YouTube. Um, I found a couple of American guys that do it out of a bit of two by four. Um, they turn the shape and then they split it down the middle rather than using a glue joint. Uh, and Dale's asking, Dale's asking, why is Scott making another Ann Summers prototype? <laughs> Dave Dale. Um, dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum. I know what I haven't done. We're not going to use them wheels. We use different wheels. Yeah. Willie Pie just said, uh, I'm hiding my screen from the wife at the minute in case she thinks I'm up to something fruity. <laughs> give, give some sound effects to go along with it, Scott. Go on. Got some, machine, got some machinery in there, anything there. <laughs> there we go. Now, what I've done there is I hadn't drilled a big enough hole. Um, 
for the axle that come with it. So if you do buy... No. They are all pre-drilled. If you do buy wheels off the internet, then do look at what axles come. Um, I brought three different size wheels. So I brought a 38 mil, 50 mil uh, of this style. Um, and then I brought a 50 mil with a wider tyre. And the axles for the wider tyre are different. And they're chamfered and they're bigger. Um, so just make sure that you get the right size. And I drilled the holes slightly smaller um, and just hammering it in. Deal is asking, them. would it be okay to ask a question? Yes, mate, go on. No, they're not Very available sounds. in Brighton. <laughs> right. Let's come back to this screen. Go on then. I'm bracing myself for Dale's question. Oh, I just did, mate. Um, okay. Uh huh. <laughs> right. So, there's the one. <laughs> There's the one we did earlier. Um, I've probably moved the cab too far back for this one. Um, there's another one of the ones from earlier. Um, as you can see, the spoiler is further back than that. I think that looks slightly better shape. Um, there's the... Uh, yes. That one... <laughs> I will finish painting that tonight um, and then I'll put pictures up and then there's the uh, that one Speed racer. Said, yeah the choices of colour are all up to you it's all about doing something different um, that's what I like to do on the channel Andy's gone to sleep I'll let him have that one <laughs> <laughs> it won't be the first time um yeah, it's all about doing something different. There's lots of books, lots of different ideas and inspirations out there from other turners. Um, but what I will say is if you do copy an idea off another turner, then please do the right yeah. thing and give them a nod. As I said, these are from a book uh, by the late Mark Baker. Um, I think this is there's turning toys and turning vintage toys that he's done. Um, and these are out of one of those books. Um, but yeah, if you do copy or put your own inspiration on another maker, do give them a shout out, give them a nod, and do the right thing. So, where are we? Don't forget, this Saturday Hi, is, the virtual, is the Virtual Crafty. Um, if you go to virtualcrafty.com, um, that is a playlist that will start you at 10 o'clock. And run right through to two o'clock UK time. Um, you won't have to switch between different demonstrators, different makers. That will uh, do everything for you. There are lots of great makers on there. Um, the sun not so good. Unfortunately, you got me, but hey ho. But you've got the likes of Andy doing his chainsaw carving. Now he's awake. I've been <laughs> and, uh, away. You nodded off was, there. We watched no, it. No, I wasn't nodded off. All oh, right then. All right. <laughs> can work out what, my, like what was going on with me. Anyway, doesn't matter. Carry anyway, on. so Rich is on at nine. I'm going to call it there for tonight, guys. Um, nice, quick, simple project. Um, I'm not on for the next couple of weeks on a Thursday. I believe Keith and Andy are going to be covering. I'm working late and nights and bits like that. Um, so I shall see you uh, after Saturday in a couple of weeks' time. I'm going to hit the button. <laughs> see you later. Bye. No, no. Bye -bye. He's, he's hit the button and left. <laughs> he's hit the button and left. Hit the wrong claiming button again. <laughs>